Hi, Luke Raymond from Inaxis Security Systems here. Today we're going to show you one of the new products that we have in stock now, both in black and white, from Ajax. Ajax has now launched the water valves. The water valves themselves are a great addition to the solution, specifically for water mitigation and water damage prevention. So let's take a look at this really cool new product. To start with, these valves are divided into two pieces. This here is a tamper. So by removing this, it allows me to remove the motor. The motor is separate from the actual valve itself. The motor itself is entirely wireless, battery operated, and can be learned into your hub via the QR code on the bottom. It also gives you the status of the actual valve itself, and the button on the front will allow us to open and close the valve with the push of a button. The valves are handled manually via this little red piece here, or via the motor, which can turn this with the engine. So by turning it, I'm able to open or close the valve as I see fit. And the valve is closed. And the valve is opened. Now the valves themselves are available in three different sizes. A uh, half inch, three quarter inch, and a full inch. Uh, the most popular in North America is the three quarter inch, and that's the one we stock the most of. Now the valves are available, as I said, in black and white, and we're gonna show you exactly how they work. So let's take a look at this. To start with, once we're in the actual application, here we do not have a valve, but we do have a leaks protect learned in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click add device, and we're gonna scan the QR code that is on the bottom of the valve itself. It now learns itself in. Add a name to it, like valve, and once we have done so, we say OK, add the device. It's then going to ask me to push the button on the valve, hold it down, and it's going to learn itself in. There you go. Took a second, but it did learn itself in. So now that I have the water valve, it's going to ask me to finish the setup. By finishing the setup, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the valve itself, and it's going to say, oh, finish setup, it's going to say, to manage the water supply, check if nothing blocks the valve. It's actually helping you to do the install. It's going to ask you to close the valve, so I'm going to reinstall the valve <coughs> properly. Put the pin back in, and I'm going to say close the valve. Now, what you can see here is when I click close the valve, you're going to see it actually close. This is testing to make sure that the valve is functioning properly. Excellent. We know that it's now functioning. So I can reopen the valve, as I showed before, by pushing the button. And when you push the button, it reopens the valve. It's a mechanical valve, so it guarantees that it's always going to be functioning very, very well. The second thing to do in the app itself is to go into the programming, to click on the icon in the upper right corner, which is the gear icon, then it's going to say, okay, well, I am a valve. I know that there's an LED indicator on me, but when I click on scenarios, this is very, very important to do. The first thing you're going to do is say, create a scenario. The first scenario I'm going to create is by alarm. When I click on by alarm, it says, well, what type of alarm? Obviously, the leaks protect is going to show up. And I'm going to say, select the leaks protect, next. And I'm going to name this a flood. So when a flood occurs, turn off the water supply clicked on turn off, save it, and now this scene has been added to my valve. Automatically, if there is a flood detected by the water sensor itself, it will shut off this valve. By being able to, sh to, cho to choose which water sensor goes with this valve, I'm able to potentially install multiple valves and multiple water sensors. For example, I, do, I can do an apartment of eight different units and have a water sensor or multiple water sensors in each individual unit also having a valve in each unit, and I can assign each water sensor to its appropriate valve so that we're not shutting off the water supply to an entire building, but rather to the individual apartment that's having a flood. I'm then gonna go into the application, I'm gonna create a second scenario. I'm gonna add this scenario, but this one I'm gonna add it by arming and disarming. So the first thing I'm gonna say is, when I arm it, we are going to turn off the water supply when arming. The second one I'm going to do is I'm going to say when disarming, I want to turn on the water supply. 
and then I'm going to click Save. So <clears throat> the purpose of having done it this way is very, very simple. When I leave the house, I want to ensure that no flood can occur while I'm gone. So I create a scenario where when I arm the panel, it will automatically turn off the water valve. The second rule is that when I get home, well, I want the water to be turned back on. So when I disarm the panel, it will automatically reopen the valve. Now I can also go in and, for example, let's say we, uh, we had a sprinkler system and we wanted the sprinklers to go at night. So you can create other scenarios where it can open the valve on a schedule for an hour and a half, two hours, whatever the case may be, and then reclose if you want. But these are all scenarios that are programmable valve by valve. So, Let's take a look at how the actual application works. Now that I've created my two scenarios, I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, okay, here is a water sensor. This water sensor is accompanied by a red cup of water. Yes, there is water in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the water sensor, I'm going to drop it in the glass of water, and we're going to see whether or not this valve actually closes in real time. I see it go into alarm. And within a fraction of a second, boom, the water valve is now closed instantaneously. Now, the valve is closed right now, but the water sensor is in alarm. So I can't reopen the valve. If I tried, the water sensor is still in alarm. The valve is going to say, well, no, I'm in alarm. I can't. So what I have to do is I have to take the water sensor out and actually dry it off. Once it's dried off, I can go back into my application and take a look. And I see here it says the water supply was turned off because there was a flood right at 1353. Right before that at 1353, the leakage was detected. Then at 1353, no leakage detected. Now I can reopen the valve. And how I do that? Well, I push the button and it's going to reopen. Very, very, very slick. So these water valves are a really powerful product and a powerful addition to the whole Ajax family. In conjunction with my water sensors, these water valves allow us to potentially uh, mitigate any floods that are going on. Perfect for residential, small to medium business, commercial, or more specifically, and where we've had a lot of success with this, is in multi-tenant units. When you have a condo building and somebody leaves the window open in the middle of winter in Winnipeg and in the middle of February, well the first thing that's going to happen is pipes are going to freeze and those pipes are going to burst and that water is going to start flowing in the building and that can cause potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage. Well the water valve actually fixes that potential. So what we do is we're able to deploy Ajax water sensors throughout a building, condo by condo, apartment by apartment, floor by floor. And we're able to then say, okay, each one of these is tied into the water valve that corresponds to it. So if I live in apartment 303, well, I could have six or seven water sensors in 303 and one or two water valves, one for the hot water, one for the cold water. Or if there's only one entry and then it splits cold and hot, well, only one of these valves. And if my apartment goes into flooding because the water sensor sees water, it will automatically shut off the flow preventing further damage and preventing potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage. The water stop is a great addition to the Ajax family and we're really, really happy to have it here in stock at Anaxis Security Systems. For more information, please leave your information in the comments below or reach out to us directly at www.inaxis.com. There's a ton of information about all Ajax products and all Inaxis products. Cheers.